Hey there guys, this is Kenneth Bledo from NetTechGuide and right now I am going to show you how to install Google Chrome OS on your Mac OS X computer. Um, this tutorial is going to be using VMware Fusion 3 for the Mac. So um, assuming that that is installed, um, I will get started with this tutorial. So what you're going to have to do first is go into the sidebar and click on the gadget.com link. It is the exact link that is in my address bar right now. And once you're there, what you guys should do is sign up or log in for gadget.com. And once that is done, you will go click on this uh, VMware get the Google uh, Chrome OS image here. And once that is clicked on, uh, the download should start. Uh, for me, it says forbidden because I downloaded it already. But uh, for those of you that didn't download it yet, it should go nice and smooth. And once that is done, I want you guys to open up uh, VMware Fusion. And you guys, I want you guys to click on Home. Now, want, after you click on Home, I want you guys to click on Install Windows or another operating system in a new virtual machine and uh, we will click on continue without disk and we will click on use an existing virtual disk this drop down window should open up and you guys should go click on the downloaded file that you do downloaded from that site it should be a .vmdk file and that is the google chrome right there as you can see I have a lot of them and uh, make sure that share this virtual disk with the virtual machine that created it is not enabled uh, click on make a separate copy of the virtual disk once that is done uh, you guys should not convert it just keep it regular and continue and note that the operating system that is selected should be Linux because Google Chrome OS is a form of Linux and you guys should click on uh, other Linux uh, 2.6 X kernel 64 bit and continue and once that's done you could uh, customize the computer settings if you want but uh, once that's done uh, you guys click finish or if you do the customized settings thing, uh, it'll copy the disk either way. And uh, while this is trying to finish, uh, you guys should definitely go sign up for a Google account because it is required to use Google Chrome OS. So uh, you guys should go do that. And once this is done, we should be able to boot into the Google Chrome OS. so uh, we are now able to configure the virtual computer now I do suggest that um, you know you make decent specs uh, the Google Chrome OS is aimed at the netbook market so you could put some netbook specs on there like one core seems to be fine but uh, I would maybe make the memory about maybe about a gig you know because you're not going to run this all day um, if you're already running on running this on the Mac. You're not going to run this like 24-7. So uh, definitely just you could do like high specs, I guess. But uh, once you're done with this, uh, you know, don't leave it on. Just uh, close out of VMware Fusion or else your computer will just be extremely slow. So once you're done configuring, you could actually go start up. Oh, uh, before we do that, uh, make sure that... Um, in your configuration, make sure that the network is connected via bridging and uh, specifically which connection you are using at that point. And once you're done with that, you guys could start up and of course just do whatever you have to do to start it up. And it'll start to boot up into Google Chrome OS. Now uh, some simple shortcuts here, uh, if you want to return to your main computer, if you want the cursor to return, uh, go click on or press on control and command and the mouse will immediately jump out of the virtual computer. But uh, for Chrome OS, the username and password 
is your Google account. So my Google account is Cableito17 and my password is uh, there we go and uh, at some points you will notice that the OS itself has some problems uh, especially with the login and uh, the VMware Fusion itself maybe have an, it ha maybe has an issue. Uh, as you can see here, it says that network not connected and offline login fail. Simple tips that you guys can follow in order to boot into it is uh, you can start by restarting VMware Fusion itself. Uh, first, I would actually suggest uh, shutting it down. Well, first of all, you could even restart the virtual machine first. Uh, that seems to be uh, one of the uh, solutions to the problem, but some at points it really isn't. Uh, what you might want to do is go fiddle around with the VMware options. But uh, let's go try this again. Typically, it seems to work by luck. I don't know how or why it does work sometimes, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work 100% of the time. So you just keep restarting the OS itself or the virtual machine, or you could even go as far as restarting VMware Fusion itself. That seems to work pretty nice. But uh, I might have to end this video now, maybe? Um, let, let's try to log in a couple of times more. There we go. I think it worked. Might have worked. Maybe it didn't. It's frozen. I don't know what's up. I think it worked. Um, oh, no. It didn't work. Uh, very disappointing. Uh, but hopefully that'll be fixed because uh, I really, really want to uh, go to this OS. Um, if you've been on the channel um, recently, you guys should have seen my Google Chrome video. But uh, it was pretty bad, so I decided to delete it and uh, make a new video. And I decided to start out with the installation video. So, uh, yeah, that's really what happened there. But, yeah, this video is going to be pretty long. But that's pretty much how you install it. Um, pretty much logging in is by chance, which is pretty disappointing to me. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably end this video at this point. So, I'm Kenneth Bolito. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to uh, our channel, and I will see you guys later.